Hello and welcome back. Um, I just wanted to mention the last video, the rotary brooch. There have been a lot of people asking for plans. Remember, I did not build this thing, so I don't know 100% that it does work. It should. I did find the last video that um, had the plans in it that I copied. And I put that link to that video in the description, so you may want to go and watch that. Um, for this video, I've gotten a lot of emails. Evidently, this mini lathe hobby is starting to explode again. I'm getting a lot of people asking for help and how to get started, you know, like I did years ago. So a lot of you probably aren't interested in this video, but I'm going to do just kind of a comparison of all the options that you can use for a quick change tool post pros and cons and so on so hope you enjoy okay i'll get to the tool post here in a minute but many have emailed or asked how i even got into this hobby and at one point in time i stumbled across a youtube video of a guy tapping and rotating a coin so that all the text folds over onto the inside I think you can kind of maybe see it here and I thought that was really cool so I uh, got some silver quarters that didn't have any copper or whatever in it and I just sit there for hours and hours and tap and get it to fold over and it was really cool um, my poor neighbor, though, kept looking for the woodpecker to shoot. Because <laughs> it was driving him nuts hearing the tapping, and then he found out what was going on. But in any case, uh, I had a blast doing it. And then once it was folded over, I'd drill it out, and I'd have to hand file it. And I said, you know, it would be a lot nicer if I had a lathe. So, there you go. Off. <laughs> off the harbor freight bought their lathe that they had on the showroom floor bought all the cutters that they had i think they had three different type sets um came home didn't know anything at all about the lathe or turning or whatever and it came with this for a tool post steel pretty nice um put the cutter in there and I don't even know where what material I used or where I got it from too long ago but I start to turn and it makes a complete mess and I'm thinking what in the world am I doing wrong and I don't know when um, I finally realized oh you're supposed to be on rotational center so um, shim this thing no and how am I going to get a boring bar in this thing, too, to eat the center of this thing out? Um, so, no, this, isn't, this ain't going to work. So I go off to Harbor Freight again, and they sell this guy. So, yeah, my mods. I've said before, I hate grabbing wrenches and things. This is so quick. So, um make my own handle for it make this this thing's working nice and it comes with a a set there's a boring bar holder and all that um but the reason i'm talking about these is a lot of people i'll get into it more say oh steel you can't use aluminum it's not rigid enough this is steel it does a great job i can turn <laughs> hard steel aluminum i've turned um, titanium with this guy no problem and it really grabs good too because uh, you just crank it down and it's like that isn't moving rocking it doesn't grab this face though it's going against here here and the back face when you close it so i think these are you know really good um but then, you know, I, okay, now I'm buying a mill because I'm having a blast and I'm starting to make a lot of rings here. Um, so, um, as the hobby grew, I need more 
holders and now that I have a mill hey I can make my own holders right these are pretty easy to make I've got a drawing for these because you can see the difference uh, no this isn't it yet so I basically reproduced it um, I got a print on the website which is shown at the end of every video if anybody wants to make them these I've got quite a few of them that I made for different tools and stuff so it makes it real quick it's automatically on rotational height um, and what um, being aluminum these guys just as good as the steel I see no difference in finishes and they're not wearing out uh, quite a few of them were what five maybe six years old I don't see any signs of wear on them so and they grab the exact same way I gotta put it in this side you know it's gonna grab uh, on the face these are actually better quality than these because this is really you know rough here so mine are all nice and smooth and cleaned up so this uh, I still use today it's a great tool holder and it's on the lathe that I um, that I first bought so there's that guy put my washer up there and this and that makes it real quick to take off then I got my second lathe and it came with this guy and little guys yeah okay yeah I guess I said that you can't buy any more of these you'd have to buy a whole set if you want some more holders so that's why I got into making my own this guy, though, the company, I think, went out of business. This particular one's A to Z. And there's a Gen Win I did a video on a while ago where you can buy for $34 or so this guy off of Amazon. I wish I could undo this handle and angle it or something, get a nicer handle. But this guy, yeah, in the beginning, you had to loosen this to turn this, and so I did some mods on it. You can see my thing in there. So it works independent. This guy's great. This one, yeah, this is steel. Um, the genuine one's aluminum. And no big deal. I mean, aluminum has always worked. Um, these guys are the same way. It's just a piston here that holds it out rather than grabbing everything. Um, both of these turning any steel or anything no difference i mean great finishes and again started making my own because to buy these guys I and mean, these guys are teeny too i think you can see the size difference on them there <laughs> mine are a lot taller i can hold you know there's a that's a teeny shelf there and i've got a lot bigger shelf but um and these two, I think, are, my opinion, these are a lot easier to make, this dovetail, than this guy. Why, I don't know, but it, it just is. And so, yeah, I've been using this guy like crazy. A bunch of people are saying that the piston isn't good. Uh, again, I turn everything with it. So I think the piston's good, the Harbor Freight's good. Um... So it's whichever tool post you want. So in any case, I wanted to experiment with another type, which is this guy that everybody keeps talking about. Um, and let me take a break here and show you um, actually unwrapping this guy. All right, a lot of comments have been left in the past over my quick change tool posts. And I was always wondering what this type, eh, open it up so you can see what it is, did order from Banggood. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. Uh, and I know it's going to be greasy. And it's not too bad. Okay, this is the type where this comes out and I forgot what it was called. I should have looked it up. This is probably the handle here, huh? For it, yeah. Eesh, eesh. All right, well, do that later. Which way is it anyway? Is it, ex yeah, there it is. I was wondering if it fits the existent guys. 
and no it does not so I'm gonna have to do some mods here right yeah it doesn't fit at all wow by a lot uh, uh, uh. I was hoping it was gonna be close enough and I don't want to destroy all my ho tool holders so I think I'm just gonna go and buy one of the tool holders that goes on it and see what it what it is you know if it really makes a bigger difference in um boy this is nice it is steel this is heavy uh the first one that i bought was from uh harbor freight it's steel and i've used it forever the other one that everybody's seen i think what would what, i can't remember what it was called now but it is aluminum and i see no difference in finishes or anything between um, the steel and the aluminum so this will be really interesting this thing is really heavy wow I'm not sure how it connects up on the lathe but we shall find out interesting I probably have to make some special bolt or something here which is no big deal when you have a machine shop so um, you'll be seeing this here shortly just a few observations so far. I had this backwards. They're supposed to be up to put it on and it still doesn't fit. The other one, they only give you two. Uh, I guess, yeah, this is only two also. I think the other one, A to Z or whatever it is, is all four sides. Uh, another one is, I noticed the, uh, I have nothing here to point with, this guy. The uh, crack in here what do you want to call it is rounded so I was thinking oh man you know because these guys are all nice and sharp in there but it's um, this face stops it from going all the way on so that rounded piece in there curve isn't a big deal at all and I was also trying to okay if it's all the way down Trying to see if this thing was parallel, and it appeared like it's 20 thousandths out, but... Yeah, see, I can rock this thing. So, it's not grabbing perfectly all the way up and down the side. Uh, I think it's grabbing the bottom more than the top, but I won't know for sure till I get one of the, buy one of the tool holders for this thing. Um, this guy too. Oh, yeah, that was interesting. Okay, so if it's supposed to be up at the top I'm on in the way with the handle. I think they they go on though with the handle here Because that's not that much further. So that was kind of a little gotcha and I loosened the nut up and So yeah, it, the base just comes off and it's a hole in there and this does fit on the post so I just need a longer post. It comes in when I put it on the machine, it's like right there. So I'll need a lot longer screw, make one or something here for the lathe to be able to mount this thing. So I uh, might be able to figure out how to move this handle so that it's not that far over when it's loose. Well, I guess, yeah, there's... <laughs> That would, well, I don't know when it's going to tighten up. It might tighten here. Hopefully it does. Otherwise, I might have to do some looking inside to see if there's something I can do to change this handle. I don't know. How, I guess you have to undo this nut somehow to get it apart to see what's inside. But, yeah, all in all, pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to trying it out and see if it happens. All right, so I've got this guy, and I forgot to bring the calipers over here, but evidently, um, yeah, it comes apart. I saw a video on this guy, and that I cannot get loose to save my life, but this just comes off. This guy unscrews, so you can use that in the tool post or the <laughs> compound to hold it, but you undo this, and these guys back out this way. And this guy, I don't know how it comes, or, or um, as I was showing in that section receiving it, that it hits. Now there's some stop to it, so I can't go over that one, but I can go over this one. 
um, and it locks when it's down, <laughs> not up like I thought. But yeah, I put the calipers across this thing and it's not straight. So I don't know. I haven't made any a tool post for it. None of these guys fit it. It's way off. So these are way too small. So I'll have to make one holder here someday um, and then try this guy out. I'm sure it's, well, I don't know. Because if this is crooked and it doesn't hold it solid, there may be a problem with it. And yeah, that unscrews so I can also make a nice brass one or whatever. So this one I don't know anything about yet. And then there's another one. I don't have it, but I did draft up a picture. It's also a piston type. But all these angles, I'm looking at this going, no, no. <laughs> because if you want to try to make a tool holder for this style, You'd be forever in a day trying to angle here and then flat here and up here. Like, no, I'm not, not going there. But um, I think I've seen some people with this one, and it's very expensive. So you got your choice of quick change tool posts, um, making your own, whatever. Uh, I don't know. If you have any questions on them, email me. My email is shown at the end of the video. Just wanted to come back and mention one or a few things in comparison. Uh, like I said, this comes with the lathe. I did a video once trying to figure out what size cutter fits this thing and puts it on rotational center. There isn't anything. You have to shim everything. Um, some people, you know, they put a cutter here and then they can rotate it and they got another cutter here and so on. So some people did opt to shim. This guy, um, I did mention here that, <laughs> whichever way, um, when this guy clamps, I should have brought a pointer over, you're clamping against this face, this face, and the two interfaces because it closes and it draws it in. So there's a lot of um, rigidity, I guess you can say, in this style. This guy, the piston type, um, you're pushing. The piston comes out. So you're now um, holding it on the interface and the interface in the small area of the piston. So this has got a lot less, I wouldn't say a lot less, but it's got less rigidity than this type of tool post. Um, as far as this guy, it locks when it goes down. So it is pulling the, um, the holder in. So you're locking on this entire face and the inside and the inside. So it's pretty good rigidity. And I have seen quite a few of these in use. Um, the last one was this guy. Um, it's called a bony Feldbach or whatever. This is a Swiss type holder. I know it's over $200, but the piston goes in. Um, it's not an outward piston. So you're locking against this face and this face, and there's um, shelves here in the. I don't have anything to even show it, but there's like. A groove in here where it latches on that and pulls it in so you've got um, extreme end stability here and it's being pulled in towards it so you also have some grab in the in the middle you know like these notches here so that's just all I wanted to finally say and something to help you make your decision what to which tool post you want to go with Thank you.